Hello everybody, it's Tearless here. Welcome back to Guild Wars 2. In just a couple of months, the release of the next expansion for Guild Wars 2, Path of Fire, will happen on September 22nd. And during this weekend, uh, the weekend of August the 18th through the 20th, we are given the opportunity to kind of beta test everything. So I am here to show you all of the new elite specializations that will be coming in Path of Fire, starting with the Warrior. Now, in the last videos that I did for Heart of Thorns, I kind of started with the weapon abilities that would be coming with the new elite specialization, and then moved on to the utility skills, and then looked at the talent trees. I'm actually going to be going backwards this time, to go through it because I think it'll, uh, it'll work out a little bit better and uh, it'll flow better through the video. So that's what we're going to do. We're starting right here with the Warrior, whose new elite specialization is going to be the Spellbreaker. So we have the Warrior Spellbreaker and his two new weapons are the Daggers. So looking at his build down here, as you can see, here's the spell Spellbreaker down at the bottom. He's got his uh, his two daggers in his hand here. He looks really kind of uh, epic. Uh, I really do like it. But uh, looking here at this first ability, um, this is basically what goes over the changes that are coming to the basically the class as a whole if you choose Spellbreaker as your elite specialization. So first of all, your normal warrior has your three burst bar um, at down here where you have uh, three little adrenaline bars. Uh, and you can build them up and it'll have you know the power to do your burst ability that's not going to be the case anymore with this you are only given two of those burst bars and you're only able to use one at a time and I'll demonstrate this later um, whether you have two or just one you'll only be able to use one chunk at a time so if you use one it won't consume both of the burst bars it'll just consume one of the burst bars in addition to this, you are also giving a new ability called Full Counter, which you can see uh, I've been displaying uh, as we've done this uh, throughout this entire time. Uh, as you can see, another burst ability, absorb the attack against you and counterattack all foes around you. Foes struck by the counterattack are also interrupted. Damage is reduced 100%, damage at 1100, and then as you can see, all the blue stuff is stuff that is added through uh, different talents throughout this tree. So that is basics, the basics of what is coming with a Spellbreaker. In addition to the Spellbreaker, you're getting access to daggers, uh, dual daggers, so you'll get a dagger in each hand, and on top of that, you're getting access to meditation skills, which we will get to as soon as we get to, um, we've gone through the talent tree here. So, this is the first one right here. Looking at our first tree right here, we have Pure Strike, deal increased critical hit damage. The bonus is doubled against Boonless Foes. Uh, this will play well into what the daggers bring to the table, which you will see later. You have Guard Counter, gain protection after a successful full counter. Full counter, once again, is that new burst ability that you are getting. And no escape, dazes and stuns inflict immobilize. So that is one thing that is nice to have uh, uh, on your ability bar if you choose to go that route. Your second kind of middle ability here is dispelling force. Dazes, stuns, pulls, knockdowns, knockbacks, and launches remove boons. So any type of thing, uh, a thing, ability that you use that would cause one of those things will cause... Uh, boons to be removed. The Spellbreaker is really has a lot of abilities dealing with negating boons of the opposing team and removing them. As a that's kind of the the recurring theme throughout the Spellbreaker. In this second tree here, we have Loss Aversion, removing boons from a foe deals damage and gives you adrenaline. Um, you guys all already know what adrenaline is, so that is good. Uh, you have Slow Counter. Full counter applies cripple and slow. So as you can see, full counter here, you can see, uh, if I were to mouse up, you can see it right there in the middle. The cripple and slow comes from this ability right here, the slow counter. And then you have sun and moon style. Gain bonuses for each dagger you equip. Main hand interrupts, interrupts that you do. Grant quickness only occurs once per interval. So it's a three second, or quickness is for three seconds. I'm not quite sure uh, how long the interval is. And then offhand, heal a percent of your outgoing critical damage. Uh, once again, I said critical damage will be somewhat important dealing with the daggers, so this will be helpful overall. Um, and it, has, it is at a 7% critical damage to healing uh, ratio. 
For your third ability right here, you have Attacker's Insight. Gain insight when disabling foes or removing boons. Full counter refreshes all burst skills on hit. Disables include stun, daze, knockback, pull, knockdown, sink, float, launch, taunt, and fear. Attacker's Insight is 15 seconds, 60 ferocity, and 60 power, and you have five stacks of that. So... Um, gain insight when disabling foes or removing boons. You're going to have a lot of that with the kit that is coming with the spell breaker. So it's going to be very possible for you to stack up attacker's insight pretty well. Uh, at least to at least to achieve the five stacks. In the last tree here, we have enchantment collapse. Removing a boon from a foe causes all nearby foes to lose additional boons. So there you can see kind of the boon uh, stripping that you see there against your enemies so removing a boot a boon from a foe causes all nearby foes to lose additional boons uh five target radius uh the radius is kind of small it's only 240 but uh inside a massive pack maybe in worldly world or something that's gonna be really uh useful second ability here revenge counter full counter deals additional damage again and grants resistance copy conditions on yourself to targets you hit with full counter so you have a bunch of conditions on you go ahead and use full counter all of those conditions are then transferred to them and you have resistance on yourself so that's pretty good and then the last one here is mage bane tether hitting with a burst skill cast mage bane tether on your target if they're within range tether yourself to the target if they move beyond the range threshold pull them to you grants might and reveals your target every second i will try and display this this is a little bit difficult to show off but this is uh, something that is coming with the spellbreaker in path of fire so that is everything to deal with the spellbreaker's talents let's go ahead and move into their new utility skills which are the meditation abilities i will show as many of them up here on this peaceful area um arena net went through and they uh they changed the kind of, you know, testing rounds for PvP, and it's very small and very crowded. So a lot of people around, and um, and I'm doing this pretty late at night, and there's still plenty of people around. So uh, before I had my own little secret area that I could go for Heart of Thorns to show you guys stuff, that's not going to be the case with this uh, in Path of Fire showing you guys this stuff. So first meditation is natural healing. Meditation, lose boons and conditions. Uh, then heal yourself. So you lose your own boons and all of your conditions, seven each, and then you heal yourself for the amount. So I'll go ahead and show you the skill right here, right there, just like that. Pretty nice. Second ability here, Sight Beyond Sight. Meditation, reveal nearby foes and make your next attack a critical hit. Remove blindness. Uh, blindness. Blindness. So if you have blindness on yourself, you get to remove that. And then you also get to reveal stealth characters. So Mesmers and Thieves, beware out there. I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. As you can see, it's an AoE around yourself. Radius 360, so it's not too bad. It's not the best. Recharge 20 seconds, and you can have two of those on you at a time. Um, I'll go ahead and use it one more time so you can see it right there. It's a pretty nice looking ability. Your next one here, uh, Meditation, Featherfoot Grace, gain a burst of super speed and resistance. So you gain super speed for 5 seconds and resistance for 5 seconds, and it breaks stun. So, as you can see right there, nice little triangle around them, it looks really nice. Next one is Imminent Threat, Taunt Nearby Foes, gaining Adrenaline for each affected foe. So there's your Taunt. Um, and retaliation reflect incoming damage back to its source and you gain adrenaline back as well so go ahead and use this here and as you can see there it, it kind of activate it kind of looks almost like a shout sort of and then last but not least I'm gonna show this down below this is your uh, your main uh, elite skill is winds of disenchantment create an area of calm where foes cannot receive boons and lose boons every interval Projectiles entering this area are destroyed. So this creates a huge zone. This is a very, uh, this is a pretty big zone. And it blocks all missiles. And then at the same time, you're going to be, uh, no one can receive boons in the area. And they are losing their boons constantly. So once again, theme spell breaker. A lot of it is, you know, removing the boons and so forth and getting rid of them. Uh, yes, I understand that a new build will be available soon. Uh, last 
Uh, utility skill that I did not show you is going to be Break Enchantments, Meditation. Strike foes around you and remove their boons. Deal more damage to foes that lose their boon. I will show this down to you, down on the floor uh, with the training dummies. Uh, that is the one that I'll show you down there on the floor. And then I will show you the burst skills as well as the new dagger skills that are coming. So let's go ahead and head on down there. And before we head all the way down there, I'm going to stop right here so that I can show you this ability, Winds of Disenchantment. I'm going to go ahead and activate it right now so you can see just how big it is. It's a pretty large yellow bubble. It looks really pretty. They did a nice job of it. Uh, one of the disappointing things of Heart of Fire, uh, Heart of Fire, <laughs> Heart of Thorns after it came out was the fact that after it came out, they they had to get rid of a lot of the, the special effects that they had because uh, there was just too much graphical interference for raids and everything else. People couldn't see stuff. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen again because there's some really cool looking stuff and it'd be a shame if we didn't have access to that. So, let's head on here and take a look at this uh, final meditation skill, which is going to be Break Enchantment, Strike Your Foes Around You, and Remove Their bone Bones. Remove Their Boons. Deal more damage to foes that lose a boon. So, going to use it right now. As you can see right there, AoE damage right there. Radius 360, which isn't bad at all. Boons removed. Two, and number of targets is five. Now, you saw me doing the main chain for your uh, daggers, I'm going to go ahead and kill this uh, other, uh, I'm going to kill this other medium target golem here so that we can hopefully see the full chain. But uh, fast attacks with the daggers. Get that out of the way. Hopefully that will get us back to uh, seeing all of them. If not, um, there we go. I can see my bar going back down. So here is your chain for your one ability. You have Precise Cut, which is Strike Your Foe. This, deal, this attack deals increased critical damage. Um, as you can see, critical damage increased 15%. Focus Slash, Strike Your Foe. This attack has increased critical damage. Same thing, basically. Critical damage increased 15%. And then the last one is Keen Strike, Strike Your Foe, and Gain Might. Gain an additional Might on Critical Hit. So you're stacking the critical damage increases, and then you're also getting bonuses if you manage to get those critical uh, hits landed on your target so as you can see it fuses kind of well with something with pure strike here which does uh, pretty good uh, for the uh, you know to have on your main skill chain for your ability so just so you know that's there um, the main you know I guess you could say the main thing about a spellbreaker is dealing with the negating of boons and the removing of boons but this little critical strike portion put in here is pretty nice so with that we're gonna go through the rest of the abilities the second one is aura slicer leap and uh, strike your foe inflicting a slow so we'll go ahead and use this right now as you can see right there I have this kind of actually it's kind of a cheesy lunge to be honest maybe it's because I'm a norm we'll come back here and use it again so you can see it again and there's the lunge. The third ability is Disrupting Stab. Inflex, inflicts daze on your target. If your target is using a skill, this attack stuns and deals increased damage. Um, you saw a lot of the talents they dealt with a lot of abilities dealing with, um, you know, uh, dazes, stuns, counters, and how they would interact with your burst abilities, uh, specifically full counter. Uh, you're loaded with those inside your uh, dagger dagger kit that you have here. So the fourth ability is Wastrel's Ruin. I think that's correct. Uh, strike your target deals more damage to foes not using skills. So we'll go ahead and use this right here. As you can see right there. Nothing too flashy um, with the kit for the warrior. I do really like how its basic attacks are very flashy. You can see right there it looks really nice going through it. Through his, uh, his 1, 2, 3 chain. And then the last ability here is Blade Storm. Uh, this is no relation to WoW's Blade Storm. Unleash a fury, flurry of attacks that damages foes and reflects projectiles coming in from the front. Uh, swiftness, vulnerability, number of targets, fives, and it reflects missiles. So we'll go ahead and use it right here. As you can see right there, it kind of just you know flies out in front of you and then attacks people. The last thing that I have not shown is the burst ability for a dagger dagger let me go ahead and continue to attack here breaching strike strike your target and remove boons so once again more boon removal so go ahead and use it right here as you can see i do kind of like a little flip over um and attack the target 
Now, as you notice, it only took one adrenaline bar away. So only 10 adrenaline. So that's something that's really nice, as you can see right there. I was able to use one, and then it's still there. I still have another one there uh, if I want to use maybe full counter after that. So, you have two burst abilities at your disposal, which is something you really haven't had before. You've never generally always had one with the uh, old Elite Specialization uh, Berserker. Elite, the, the burst abilities kind of changed a little bit. So this way, you now have... Uh, things are a little bit different now. So, with all that being said, I've shown you everything except for full counter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually head over to uh, one of the uh, training dummies that will actually... Uh, fight back and I will show you what full counter will do um, and I believe it's this elementalist up here. I don't want to deal with the mesmer. So we're just gonna deal with this elementalist right here I'm gonna show you what Build it up real quick and then I'm gonna use full counter right now as you can see right there It has that kind of thorns around them, which is really nice and Then this is the tether that you see from the ability um, I will go through and mention the ability again, uh, dealing with full counter, and I will show you that, uh, that, uh, excuse me, that talent again so you understand exactly what I am talking about, but that is full counter. Once again, let's go ahead and take a look at the build, and the tether I'm talking about is Mage Bane Tether, tether yourself to a target, hitting a burst, hitting with a burst skill, cast Mag Mage Bane Tether on your target if they're within range, tether yourself to a target if they move beyond the range th threshold, you pull them to you. Now he summoned an elemental right there, and he was hit with full counter uh, during this, and full counter can hit five targets, so as I use full counter, the elemental, uh, the fire elemental that he summoned attacked me, and then he got hit with a Mage Bane t Tether. So that's basically what happened there, and, uh, you know, that is the Spellbreaker as a whole. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Warrior. Uh, it was the first one I did here, and I, honestly, I am the least knowledgeable about Warrior, um, as it is the class I use the least in Guild Wars 2. So if I mess up anything, I am really sorry. But I believe I have gone through everything that will be coming to Warriors in Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I will say, I'll put this out there. Heart of Thorns was the best expansion pack I've ever seen for any game. So if you uh, have not tried Guild Wars 2, get out there and get Pathfinder because it will be something really cool to experience once it actually comes out. Um, and I will be going through all of these elite specializations. This warrior will be the first, and then from here on, we will be going to the others. So, that is everything with the Spellbreaker. I will see you guys in the next video. Tearless out. See ya.